two, three, or four more years. That's Aaron Rodgers on the Look Into It podcast with Eddie Bravo. I saw a post on X of all the other topics they got into, and apparently the full three-hour conversation is behind a paywall. Sorry, Eddie Bravo. I ain't three paying for it. Hours? I'll, three hours. Three hours. Three hours. And I don't know that I could listen to my good friend Aaron Rodgers for three hours. Three minutes can be a challenge at times based upon the topic he's addressing. Part of me really wants to do it. I have no idea what it costs. I'm not even going to look into it. I am cheap, but I also don't want to listen for three hours. For three seconds, we know that he wants to play up to four more years. That is not going to be easy to do. He turned 40 in December. He would turn 44 during his final season in the NFL if he plays four more years. I don't even know, Miles, that... He's got more than one year left with the Jets. He said it himself on Pat McAfee's show earlier this year, we're all on the hot seat this year. If they stink this year, they won't bring him back for 2025. They'll move on. So I don't know. Does he continue the Brett Favre career path at that point and become quarterback of the uh, of the Vikings? I don't know. <laughs> but he needs a place. He needs a place to play. That would really test the limits of my boyhood loyalties, let me tell you. But he would need a place to play after this year if it doesn't work out with the Jets. You enjoyed that way too much. Oh, dude. I mean, can't you see it, though? Kirk Cousins goes to Atlanta. They have one year of some QB. And then the next year, he comes to Minnesota because the Jets aren't very good. But Aaron Rodgers still looks like he might have a little bit of juice left in the tank. Oh, my goodness. I'm now rooting for this outcome. You know I, feel right I don't now. know how it's going to happen, you know, but I want it. You no, know, I feel... I feel like I did right before you saw me stop eating that steak. That's kind of <laughs> how I feel right now. <laughs> um, but, hey, let's see. Look, Tom Brady has kind of ruined it by playing as long as he did. We'll see if this becomes a trend. Drew Brees didn't keep playing. Philip Rivers didn't keep playing. You know, I remember when Matt Hasselbeck made it to 40. I went and did a deep dive on all the quarterbacks that actually truly played beyond 40. There have not been many. Yeah. Father Time is undefeated. And Father yeah. Time doesn't always just win with one fell swoop. Father Time starts tearing you down bit by bit and piece by piece. And here's the challenge, I think, for Aaron Rodgers. Because for Brady, he was never mobile. So when he got later in his career, he became strategically about get rid of the ball even if it means throwing up three interceptions in the NFC championship game that they somehow still won in green Bay, get rid of the ball before I get hit. Rogers still has the athletic ability to run away from trouble. The problem is, as he found out, you get calf problems, you get an Achilles tear. You're going to pull a hamstring. When the muscles try to do more than the old man body can do, the pieces are going to start to go. He's got a transition yeah. to remember the year that he had the calf injury. And so he just was pocket passer guy and not any of the movement stuff. That's kind of what he's going to have to be if he wants to make it to 44. Well, yeah. And I mean, we could maybe start to see that this year. I think that also depends on the strength of the Jets offensive line this year, right? I mean, it, it wasn't very good last year and we all know that. And that's something that Joe Douglas is definitely going to have to address over the course of the next couple of months. But I don't know, just from whatever standpoint, right? I, when it goes, it usually goes pretty quickly. And Tom Brady is the absolute exception to that. But like you said, I mean, you, you brought up a bunch of different guys. Matt Ryan, another guy. When it went, it went very quick, right? I mean, Peyton Manning dealt with a bunch of injuries. And then when it went, it went very quickly. So we'll have to see what happens with Aaron Rodgers. It's, it's no guarantee that anybody coming back from an Achilles tear at his age is going to be able to perform at the level we're used to seeing. So th that's just one of those things where it's going to stay in my mind until we see Aaron Rodgers go out there and look like the Aaron Rodgers we're used to seeing. I mean, is he going to be that guy? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he had four plays last year, and he's talking about four years. We'll see. We'll see. It's his prerogative. If a team's willing to employ him and he's willing to play, so be it. You mentioned Peyton, though. 2015, his final year, week one, a friend of mine was in the vicinity of of the area outside the locker room in Denver. And my friend said, you should see all the stuff they're doing to get Peyton Manning ready to play. And it's week one. It's yeah. not like, you know, I'm just trying to hold it together for the final few games of the season. It was week one. And it was this major undertaking to get him in position where he could go out and play. So again, father time 
especially if you're playing a high-level sport, Father Time is going to win and win and win some more. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.